Hey, and welcome to another episode of Learn Mac Tonight. I'm your host, Vic Sinise, and today's episode is Episode 8, How to Erase a USB Flash Drive. So what is the flash drive? Well, the flash drive is that little device that you can use to hold your files and programs. I use mine mostly for pictures. So whenever I take pictures that I want to share with somebody, I'll load them up on a flash drive, give it to them, they can take the flash drive to their computer and download all the pictures. When they're done, they give it back to me, and I need to get those pictures off. And that's what we're going to talk to you about, how to erase that drive. And I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to do that. And you might just ask yourself, well, why not just move the items to the trash? You can do that, but I found that sometimes the uh, trash is not the best way to do it because you have to remember to empty your trash or those items are still sitting there on the USB flash drive. Also, sometimes I don't want to empty my trash because I've got other files and I haven't really decided for sure that I want to get rid of those. And I like to keep my trash around for a while and then get rid of it after I'm sure I'm not going to ever need that back. So I've got a better way to do that. That's with a program built right into your computer called Disk Utility. Disk Utility is found on your Apple computer. It's built in. You don't have to pay anything for it. It's free. Got to use it. I'm going to be demonstrating it with the Lion version that I have currently, but it works pretty much the same for the Snow Leopard version and Leopard. So let's dig right into it. First thing I want to point out is I've got my hard drives up here, and this is the USB drive showing up. I've named it my pictures, and I'm just going to open that. So anyway, I have all my pictures, and I've already transferred these over. My son's taken it. He's put it on his computer. And now I want to get rid of these pictures. And again, we talked about you could throw these into the trash. That would be one option. But I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way, and that's using that program called Disk Utility. Now I'm going to hit Command and I just to get the information off this disk. And we can see this is a one gigabyte um, USB flash drive. And on, those, on this drive, I have 1.5 megabytes on the disk. So those are all those um, folders that I've showed you, all those pictures. So keep in mind, 1.5 megabytes is being used right now. So we want to get that back to new and open up all that memory space for more pictures that I can share. So if you remember from the episode Alfred, I'm going to use Alfred to bring up the um, disk utility. And if you just start typing disk, we can see DI, it brings it right up, disk utility, and a little click. And that is our program, disk utility. Now, just like everything else, there's multiple ways to bring up Disk Utility, and maybe you wonder, eh, where is Disk Utility actually found? So we'll go into our Finder here, under Applications, and way down here is an envelope, or a folder, I'm sorry, called Utilities. If you click on Utilities, one of those utilities is the Disk Utility. Okay? Easy enough to find, but I like that Alfred program. So here we go. We see all of the hard drives that are now attached into our computer. These are actually the computer hard drives. That's the, the main operating system. This is a storage one, another storage disk that I'm using. So a word of caution right here. Be very careful that you're selecting the disk you want to erase because you can erase your computer's memory by erasing the wrong disk. Now if you go down to the description, it's going to tell you exactly what you've selected here. This shows me that I've got my solid state drive selected and that it's a uh, not, not something I'm going to want to get rid of because that's our main disk. And if I go over here, we can see that it's going to show that this is my one gigabyte media USB external. That's the one that I want. So make sure you're sure what you picked. If you do that, you can't screw up. And also you can see it's showing that I've given it a name, My Pictures, down here. So... Either way, you're not going to make any mistakes as long as you got the right disk selected. So what we do is select Erase, and it's going to default to give it a title called Untitled. So if the default is Untitled. We're going to change that to My Picks, give it a little different name than My Pictures, so that we know that we've actually done something, and we click Erase. Now, so we get this warning message, hey, are you sure you really want to do this? Now, if you're not sure, you'd hit cancel, but I'm real happy. I know I got the right disk, so boom, I hit erase. And it's going to start doing some stuff down here, and it's it's fast. I mean, boom, it's done. Everything's been erased, and now we can see it's changed the name to My Picks, and we're going to select that disk, and we'll open it in the Finder, 
and we can see there's no more pictures on it. It's a nice blank disk. And we'll do a Command I to bring up our information, and we can see that now there's only 12 kilobytes. Now these are some folders, some partitioning folders that it's still left behind, but everything else is gone. Remember that was like 1.5 gigabytes, uh, megabytes of information that's now suddenly gone. So we've cleaned up that disk nicely. It's ready to roll. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Learn Mac Tonight. Hope you learned a little bit about how to erase that hard drive. And tune in again for another episode soon.